Hey everyone, today I was feeling in a very sort of adventurous kind of mood and um, I'm not going to finish this job today, I'm just going to start it, you know, record this little intro and everything um, but what I really want to try and do is install Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit onto my crappy little PC. Um, just to remind you, my PC is an AMD Athlon XP uh, single core machine, uh, 1.67 gigahertz processor. Um, it's got a gig of RAM, it's like DDR, it's like just pretty slow RAM. Um, I can't even remember what else it's got. It's got some like, it's got a Radeon 70 something graphics card with um, 64 megs of VRAM. I'll confirm all the specs when I actually turn the thing on. But basically, like I said, um, I'm going to attempt to install Windows 7. Um, onto the machine. Now according to the Microsoft website um, Windows 7 will run on, uh, Windows 7 32-bit will run on any machine with um, a 1 gigahertz or above processor with a gig or above RAM so technically I guess I meet those um, specs but my god I think it's gonna be really really sluggish and slow. Um, I'm just doing it for a bit of a laugh really. I am NOT doing it on my PC hard drive because I've actually got some important stuff on there like I'm halfway through a few games and whatnot, um, some older games, I'm playing through Half-Life again and I've got a really nice um, fully working legitimate install of Windows XP on there and everything so I'm going to stick in a new hard drive in the computer just to install Windows 7 and um, I'm going to see how it goes. Now um, don't laugh at me, I'm, I'm really not good at this window stuff, I'm just doing it for a little bit of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it's entertaining. So I need to dedicate a hard drive to Windows 7. Um, so I've pulled out my hard drive box here and um, I've got a selection spread here. Now if I just get down here to show you. Um, I've got one of these in my PC at the moment. This is what's in my PC, it's an 80 gig uh, Western Digital hard drive. Um, this would be ideal for the job, however I find these drives extremely loud. Um, when my PC starts up now it just does this massive clicking session and you know that's really not cool. There's another one the same as it there but I might use them, I'm not sure. Um, here we have a very thin Maxter uh, 40 gig hard drive. Now. I think 40 gigs will definitely be enough because I'm not sure what I'll be doing on Windows 7 and it's quite a sleek hard drive so I might use that one. Uh, no idea about the capacity of this one so this one's out of the equation really. Um, this is a 120 gig. Um, this is a really nice ID hard drive actually and I think I'll save this for my Power Mac G4 MDD. Um, this is a 40 gig that I pulled out my friend's MDD and this has actually got a copy of Leopard on it so I think I'm going to keep that um, for something to do with Max. And then this is an 80 gigabyte um, a Seagate hard drive which I also might use. This one looks pretty weird though. So it's between this one and this one and this one. I've just got to really decide how much space that I actually want on the computer. But I'm sure I'll come to some kind of decision. So let's pull out the computer and uh, take out the hard drive cage. So here's my PC guys, um, it's been a little while since you've seen it. It's just a very basic machine, I'll lie it down here for you to see. Um, here you can see it there, we've got a gig of RAM hiding under there, we've got my 80 gigabyte hard drive, my DVD drive, um, we've got a 4 port USB thing uh, which pokes out the front there that gives you 4 USB ports, we've got a 5.1 sound card, Sorry about the camera work, there it is, you can see, sound card in the back. A uh, little cooling fan thing, which is really unneeded in a PC like this, but it's cool because it lights up blue. And then this graphics card, which is a uh, Radeon, uh, ATI Radeon 7, 4, I don't know, I don't have a clue what it is actually, but um, I'll let you know soon. Um, yeah, so basically, um, we'll take out this cage and... Yeah, we'll swap out this hard drive for the other one and see what we can do. So guys, I've decided that I'm going to use um, this Maxter 40GB hard drive. Um, it's a decent sized drive just to install an operating system to play around with. And um, yeah, it's pretty sleek, so 
we'll pop that one in there. But first, we need to take the old one out. So let's just quickly do that. There you have it. There's the hard drive cage. So let's just move the PC to one side. Okay. Let's take a look. We just got one, two, three, four screws here holding the 80 gig in. I've got to be careful with this. Um, do you know what, guys? I told you that this hard drive was the same as the ones over there, but it isn't. It's completely different. So I could have used another one. Uh, never mind. Doesn't matter. I'll use that 40 gig. So the hard drive now just slides out and here is my drive which isn't the same as the ones that I showed you earlier. I thought that I had one of those drives in it but I don't. This is a Hitachi Desk Star. I've got one of these in my G5 but yeah. Awesome. So um, I'm just going to quickly shove in this 40 gig and I'm going to keep that 80 gig really safe because I uh, don't want to drop it or anything because my data on there is pretty important. There you have it guys, the um, 40 gigabyte drive is in as you can see, fits in really nice, it's a really nice little thin hard drive and uh, hopefully it works. So we'll just quickly pop that back into the PC, here she is. First of all we'll plug in the cables because in my opinion it's easier to do it first. So this is the IDE cable being plugged in. And we'll take a... Oh, sorry, I hit the camera then, guys. Um... Yeah, we'll take this power connection. There you have it. Now we'll just wangle this back in. Nearly got it. And there you have it. Clicks right into place. And we'll just screw it back in. Like so. There you have it guys, all sorted. The new hard drive is in. Better keep this one safe because I don't want to forget which hard drive it is or anything. I'll leave that funky little cooling thing attached to it so I remember what drive it is. So yeah, um, I reckon we'll plug this in and we'll see what it does because I'm quite eager to find out if it detects the hard drive and whatnot. I can't even remember this hard drive works, but I think it does. Alright guys, we are pretty much set up. Um, sorry about the sunlight and all that, it's been a pain. But anyway, here's the PC. Um, it's all plugged in, we've got a monitor there and a keyboard here. So let's hit that power button. Don't worry about that noise, it's completely normal. There it is booting up. It's found the hard disk, you can see, ID hard disk. Don't worry about the noise it's making. 
starting windows. Looks like there's windows on this hard. Oh, Windows 2000 for the win, guys. Oh, I love it. And the blue screen of death to top it all off. Check that out. That is epic. I'm so glad I recorded this. First we have good old-fashioned Windows 2000, and then we have a gorgeous BSOD. <laughs> Wicked. And the computer's making quite an evil noise. Let's press the reset button and see what happens again. Windows 2000 on this hard disk, guys. Why the hell do I have that on there? I'm trying to remember where it came from, to be honest. Alright, it's making less noise this time. Starting Windows. Windows 2000 Professional. Awesome stuff. And we've got another blue screen. Alright, guys, I think I can stop this blue screening. What I'm going to do is shut this down. like so and I'm gonna quickly pull out my PCI sound card because it might not be directly compatible with Windows 2000 or something like that and it might be confusing the hell out of it so where's my screwdriver there it is I'm gonna quickly go off camera guys and take out my sound card so there's my sound card guys all taken out and let's hope this thing stops blue screening so we'll knock it on by there. And we could do with a mouse actually, considering we've got an operating system on it. We've got a crappy Hewlett Packard mouse. And we'll plug that into the PS2 port. There you go, it's in. And the power's on. Let's push this back. And let's give it another go. I hope it doesn't blue screen. I'd really like to get into Windows 2000. That would be really cool. So it's detected the hard disk again. Starting Windows. Windows 2000. Please, 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 please. No, bugger. Ah, uh, it's blue screened again, guys. But that's pretty damn epic. Windows 2000 on this hard disk. Really, really cool. I'm loving that a lot. Wicked. Okay, so what I might do is um, take out that hard disk, stick another one in, and... Um, yeah, I'll take out that one and stick another one in because I want to keep Windows 2000 on there because I want to play around with that. I'll stick it in one of these machines or something. Awesome. I'll just quickly uh, change out the hard disk. So here's the 40 gig that's got Windows 2000 on it. Um, just made a weird noise. This little thing on the front. But anyway, there's the 40 gig with Windows 2000. I want to keep that over there. And we'll stick this one in. I don't know the capacity of this one. Could be 20 gig, could be 60 gig. Who knows? But anyway, we'll stick that one in and we'll see what's on that one. I just need to change over the jumper setting. Alright guys, I've put the other hard drive in. The one that looks similar. It's the Maxter one, but um, I'm un unsure of the capacity. So let's see what it does. Not a whole lot. Ooh, it would help if I turned the power switch on. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, that noise is fully healthy. Alright, that's a loud hard drive. It's detected the hard drive and it's loud. I can hear the hard drive and I can hear the fans. This is one of the loudest things I've ever heard in my life. This has Windows on it as well. Start Windows normally. Yes, please. What version of Windows does this have on it? Ah, uh, looks like it's just going around in one big loop. The drive doesn't sound too good to be, to be honest. 